I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? So here I am in Pasadena, California. Although I did see signs saying turn off for Altadena. I've been to Altadena before for something else. But I'm pretty sure I'm in Pasadena still. But I did see signs for Altadena that looked, seemed like I was in Altadena. But I'm not in Altadena. I have a cousin, Dina. Yeah, she's afraid of crowds. She steals. Stole from me. Here I am uh, at Eddie Van Halen and Alex Van Halen's childhood home right here in front of me. Incredible. I think we're all, we, I mean, Eddie Van Halen was sick for a long time, so it wasn't a complete shock when he passed away. Um, but it was, it was hard. This, it's, it's, a world without Eddie Van Halen is strange, right? He's, he's been, Van Halen and their music have been a part of all of our lives for so long. I think Eddie Van Halen's not around anymore. It's really, it's crazy. It's just, so many of our, our 80s, you know, I, Rock legends are gone. David Bowie, Prince, George Michael, Michael Jackson, Eddie Van Halen. I'm sorry, I've missed a few, I'm sure. Like, it's just, it's unbelievable. And Eddie Van Halen uh, was guitar god. Greatest guitarist ever. I mean, there's a debate. Is there a debate? Should there be a debate? I discovered Van Halen from 1984, their album, 1984. That's what I remember as a little kid. I remember that album. I remember Jump, Panama, Hoffer Teacher. I remember all the videos. Then as I got older, I went back and did a deep, deep dive into their music, diver down, everything. And then I liked, I even liked the Sammy Hagar stuff. I know some people didn't, but different sound, same band, different sound. I did get to see Van Halen live once with Sammy. It was in the later years. Amazing show, incredible show. And I actually did see David Lee Roth on a solo show once. It was a one-off show in Toronto. It was very bizarre. Not gonna work at the record store. It was interesting, it was cool, but it wasn't the same. But uh, he was doing all the kicks and all that. But of course, this video now, I'm rambling on, but this video is about Eddie Van Halen. The house is right here, but I want to tell you something else. So this is the house they grew up in, right here. And they lived here for two years after they broke through with mainstream success. And apparently there's a shed around back where they used to practice. And now it looks like there's dense shrubbery. So I can't really see it. I can't see if the shed, the shed is still there apparently. But yeah, I can't see it. But after Eddie passed last year, a memorial spread here and flowers, everything was left right along here for Eddie. And this is now like a landmark. I think it's gonna be a protected home, like inter because it's the Van Halen family home. They don't live here anymore, but yeah, like it comes up as a historical landmark. So I'm wondering if it's going to stay as one, like as whatever. It's kind of different than the other houses. It definitely looks a little older, not as remodeled, but isn't that cool? That's where Eddie and Alex grew up. Eddie Van Halen right there. Yeah, they used to practice right around back. And his Frankenstein guitar, apparently he painted that in this house. Wow. There it is. Imagine how loud it was in that house <laughs> with the drums and Eddie practicing guitar. That's crazy. So I just want to do a quick video, show you this, show you the house. And yeah, it's, pa yeah it is Pasadena I'm still in. I don't know, I've been driving around the sun all day. I'm getting a little, a little uh, overdone. But yeah, there's the house. But what I want to show you is something else. There's a liquor store right around the corner. And apparently they carved their names, right? Uh, Eddie and Alex carved Van Halen into the cement outside the liquor store. And it's still there. And I saw on social media that people had put flowers and um, other things and candles around that after he passed away last year too. So I just drove by what I think is the liquor store, but there was new cement, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to go look for it. We're gonna look for it together because I want to see that. I'm more excited to see that than it was the house because Eddie actually did that himself, and it's something you can actually, you know, kind of touch and see. And you know, I can't get too close to the house, but where are we? It's so so hidden. So that's what I really want to see. So I'm gonna drive around, see if we can find that, and uh, I'll show you where. 
they carved their own names. They knew they were going to be huge. I mean, supremely talented Eddie. Alex, incredibly talented. I wonder what... You can't have Van Halen without Eddie Van Halen. So I guess that's probably it for the band. Which is... They haven't done anything new in a while. They were touring, but... With Wolfgang and... Uh, uh, was Wolfgang... Yeah, and David Lee. Yeah, so they were touring again. Wolfgang is Eddie's son. But... Um, now, I know Michael Anthony and Sammy Hagar still get together and perform some songs. It's too bad we never got the original lineup back together for at least a uh, year. Like one tour with Michael Anthony, Dave Lee Roth, and the Van Halen Brothers. But it never happened, and it can't happen now, sadly. They were incredible live, though. And, wow. Yeah, the Sammy Hagar era, I really do... Uh, so many good songs. Why can't this be love? Pound cake. When it's love. And I love um. Oh gosh, what's the song? They used it in the opening of a Melrose Place episode, which I thought was always weird because Melrose Place, you know, doesn't really lend itself to Van Halen. Uh, I can't stop loving you. Can't stop loving you. Great song. Yeah, I remember they used that on the season opener of a Melrose Place episode. I was like, Van Halen on Melrose Place. All right, I like the show and I love the band. That works. Let's go and find that cement. Uh, Cement part. All right, together for Eddie. Thought I'd show you that as I'm driving around the corner to the liquor store. Wonder how long this has been here. What if this was on the street when Eddie and Alex were running up and down? The house is just right down that street. But look at that. It's definitely been around, but it hasn't been on this street. Very cool. Okay. All right, so it's a little loud here at the corner of Allen and Villa. This is where I passed, and I saw a liquor store up on my right as I was driving towards the house. Now, you'd think I would be really, really well prepared for things like this. But I kind of, I have a habit of leaving things to chance when I do my videos, knowing the general area, and I kind of like stumbling across things. So I don't, I do like the research on whatever the location is, I do like, or the person, but then stuff, stuff like this, I'm like, ah, I know it's in front of a liquor store somewhere near their house. That's all I knew. So where's the liquor store? Oh, here we go. Here's a bunch of... Here it is. That's easy enough. So if you're looking for it, look for Eric's Clocks on Allen Road. Allen and Vista. Villa, sorry, Villa. Here it is right here. That's Eddie and Alex actually did that themselves. How crazy is that? Like a fan didn't do, a fan did these other ones. Van there. Sorry, getting my. You can see Van there. A few other people are putting stuff in. But yeah, people came and left all sorts of stuff here. And there it is. That's. Eddie and Alex did that. How crazy is that? Just look for Over the Bridge Vintage Shop, Eric's Clocks. Look for the palm tree in California. And then look below it. Yeah, right there. How awesome is that? Cars about to start right beside me. Oh, just spit water out on my hand. Oh, thank you. This to me, something like this, is kind of like this is a highlight of my day so far. <laughs> just knowing that they did that. The house is cool, but knowing they walked right around the corner, the house just up the street there, they walked right around the corner and did that right here. They would have walked right down this route. There's a liquor store there. The yellow sign. I'm yelling now because it's, I didn't put my windsock on for this one. And then right there. So they would have walked from that direction. Come down this way in the teens to get some booze. Probably saw the wet cement and thought, why not? I carved my name into wet cement near my childhood home too. I'll take a picture of that one day, put it on social media. And all I got was S-C-O. Like half the O, so it says Sco, and the neighbor came out and yelled at me. So I ran. But it's still there to this day. Yeah. It's not as important as this, though. All right, I am driving back to Hollywood now. And guess what? I'm going to listen to Van Halen. I suggest you do as well. Put on some Van Halen right now. Any song. Any song you want. 
I really am. I can't wait to listen to Van Halen right now. Just blast it. Long live Van Halen. Long live Eddie Van Halen. Peace out. Peace to Eddie Van Halen. I love you all. Peace out.